today we're going to be talking about the Beretta M9 by Umarex. Uh, it's a new pistol I got, well, not new, I got it used. Um, I think it's the M9, I'm not sure. Uh, I know that it's not the M9, or the M98. I know it's not the M98, because the M98 shoots full auto, this is only semi. But uh, it's a pretty nice little pistol. Um, I traded some gear for it. I did reviews on the gear that uh, I traded for it. But, um, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, let me just camera just a little Here we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, I guess the first thing we'll start off with is the magazine. So, uh, the way the magazine works is it's a CO2 uh, gas blowback gun. And so, the magazine, what you do is... Uh, as you can see, there's this little twisty piece. Uh, it's just a regular screw, lefty loosey, righty tighty, and you unscrew it, and you could pop out the CO2, and then you just kind of slide it in, tighten it, and then you'll hear like a tss. And basically, when you hear that, you just tighten it till you can't tighten it anymore, and it is good to go. So to load the magazine, uh, you have a little spring there, and you uh, have a little button thing, uh, it's like a slider, and you just slide it all the way down, and it just clicks to the bottom, uh, you just slide it over to the left. So, next, I'm going to set this down, take your speed loader, which I need to load up, take your speed loader, we're just going to do a couple BBs. That should be good. That's like a magazine, maybe a little bit more. And uh, you just, there's a little hole there. And you just pop it in. You kind of have to go slow. You can't, it's not like a rifle where you could just push it all the way down. Uh, and it also helps if you tilt it down just a little so they just slide up there to the top. So basically, you just um, put that right there. You just uh, fill it up until uh, there's one in the hole, and then once there's one in the hole, it's completely full. So you just uh, put your finger over this so it doesn't shoot out, and you just pop that little uh, slider up, and then once it's like that and you have tension on it you're good to go and now, now it's all good so uh yep and if there's only one bb in the magazine and you try to rack it back it'll lock but as you can see i'm not pushing the uh, little slide release it's all good so um yeah go ahead and take that out Yep, um, so from what I've been messing around with it, reading up on it, um, if you rack it back with a full magazine, it doesn't put one in the chamber, but that's all good. Um, so yeah, uh, pretty nice little gun, gas blowback, so you can do that. Now, a magazine's going to run you, for a standard size magazine, it'll be about forty dollars I believe I saw it on evike uh maybe on like eBay or other websites it might be a little bit cheaper uh I didn't check around too much um but yeah so uh, I guess we'll go over everything um so first uh we'll talk about the side it's completely metal gas blowback uh Basically, that's all there is to it. Um, now, a lot of times with pistols, they'll have the uh, paint dabbed on the uh, sights. This one does not, but that's not too much of a problem. I don't really care about that. Um, the frame is mostly metal. The hand guards are plastic. The hammer is metal. Uh, right here, the back of the pistol grip, that is plastic. 
Uh, actually, most of the pistol grip is plastic. Huh. Pretty cool. So the trigger guard kind of feels metal. Um, the trigger, I believe, is plastic, but it feels pretty high strength. Um, so yeah. Now with the trigger, the way uh, it works, as you can see, when you pull it, this little metal piece pushes it, and on the magazine, it'll push this little piece right here that my finger's on, and that'll send the BB into the chamber, and then once it's about here, uh, if you pull the trigger just a little bit more, it'll hit the hammer, which will hit the firing pin, and release the gas. So, yeah, you have to pull the trigger a little bit kind of hard. Got to just kind of squeeze it a little harder than you would like a real gun. But that should be all good. Um, so you have the little slide release right here. As you can see, right there above my finger. It's all good. Now, the safety is ambidextrous. So, as you can see, I'm flipping it on the other side. And it's flipping that. Same on this side. It's all good. Um, next, hammer. Uh, what's cool about this is um, you can just pull the hammer back like that and you're ready to fire even with the mag in. So if you do, if you just pull it back and you shoot, it will shoot a BB. So you could do that, you could rack it back, any way to get that hammer back and you're good to shoot. Um, next, uh, to disassemble the gun, you have a little lever here. Now you can't push it and I'm using a pretty crappy camera. It's a uh, computer camera. Um, so I'm not sure if you can see it super well. There you go. Uh, that little bump right there is actually a button. And uh, you push it in. And as soon as you push it, you slide that down. Now what that does is when you rack it back, you could kind of push it up. And there you go. Your gun is disassembled. You can lubricate it and clean it and do all that good stuff. Now, there we go. You might have to do a little bit of wiggling to get it back on, but uh, you kind of pull it back, push it down, and it should just slide back into place. Push the button and flip it, and it's all good. Um, now, one thing that is good to mention, because freaked me out the first time it happened to me uh, on the side this little piece right here it does pop off I think it it is supposed to do that definitely because it's got little tabs on it to hold it in place but uh yeah that's just something to keep in mind because I thought I broke it I was freaking out just a little there it goes freaking out just a little thought I broke it turns out it just does that okay so I think that's just about everything oh trigger or uh, mag release is right here as you can see um yeah so I'm gonna show you how it locks back real fast so and as you can see, whenever this gets pushed forward, it releases a BB, and it will do that. It'll push forward, put a BB in the chamber, then that black spot, uh, there's a little metal firing pin looking thing uh, in it. What that does is uh, when the firing pin hits that, it releases the gas. So it pushes it forward, puts a BB in the chamber, hits that. The gas goes through that little metal nozzle thing, and it releases the BB. Um, now, from what I've been looking at, I believe that the pistol is like 100 bucks. I believe. Uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, somewhere in that range. So, yeah. Now, as you can see, um, without any bullets in the mag... It just locks back.
and then as I showed you with bullets in the magazine, uh, it'll just rack back completely. So, uh, yeah, um, I believe it shoots about 400 FPS, somewhere in there. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. This is used, so mine probably shoots a little less. Uh, I'm guessing like 350, 375, but it is going to be used as a sidearm, uh, so I wouldn't really want it to shoot, or I mean it'd be cool but if it shot as much as an AEG, but that that's not really a priority for me. I don't really care that much. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a pretty nice pistol. Um, ooh, I'm not sure if you can see that because the camera. But uh, right here on the slide, it says Petro Beretta. Probably mispronouncing that. Uh, it's an Italian company. I believe Beretta is Italian. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I can't speak Italian. So, yeah. Um... Right here on the frame, there's the serial number, and then on this side, it's just the, it's not a toy, all that warning. Uh, but yeah, um, I like it. I'm kind of happy that it was used, because uh, you could even see it on the camera. A lot of the uh, paint scraping, it looks like battle damage. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, now um, the guy I bought it from told me that the magazine wouldn't work or traded with. He said the magazine wouldn't work, but uh, I haven't had any problems with it, and if it does, uh, he said it would just be the O-ring. So yeah, um, also he uh, wrote on the uh, handguard for some reason, uh, I don't know, doesn't bother me too much, can't even notice it cause when you're holding it, you know, I mean you can't really see that, I can't really see that. So, um, yeah, also on the handguard, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but, uh, there's the seal, the, uh, Beretta seal, with the little logo, it's on both sides, pretty nice, and, um, you can remove the, uh, handguard, just two little Phillips head screws on both sides, and you're good to go, don't know why I pushed that. Um, yeah, and then also, there's a little, uh, do you see this? It's got a spring on it, this little piece I'm pushing. It just helps the magazine come out. Uh, it's a pretty nice little pistol. I haven't had a chance to play with it. Uh, I'm probably going to be playing some games soon. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you want me to upload those and video them, then, uh, I will. Um, I'm getting a new helmet. Uh, pretty soon it just shipped today. Uh, so it should be delivered sometime this week, hopefully, maybe like Monday, Tuesday, next week. So, um, yeah, uh, pretty nice little pistol. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, so, yeah, I guess we'll do the shoot test now.